And then we got Mo over there. Oh, my so, bad, Fat Trail, Young Mo. We was into some other shit. Um, I, I deeply apologize, though. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to get started. So, we here for the mixtape, mix right? Mm -hmm. It's called April Fool. Mm -hmm. So, where did you get the name from? Um, where did I get the name yeah, from? Yeah, the idea, the concept. Like, what made you think, you know, April Fool? That's what it is. Okay, um, well, first of all... DJ Money, um, DJ Money is a well-known um, DJ in the DMV, DC right. of Virginia, DJ Money, shout out uh, 368 for the win. And um, the last mixtape I dropped was August, August, August the 31st. And that's no secrets, right? Yeah, that was no secrets. So it's been long, it's been a long time due for a mixtape. So mm -hmm. the next tape, I, the next tape that I thought about putting out. Money was like he was in my ear, like man, you know, me and you, we need to do something for the streets because DJ right. Money is one of the hottest DJs in the DMV. Yeah, okay. So he was like, <coughs> he was like, uh, we need to, we need to put that out. Yeah, but I mean, but to come up with a name like April okay. Fools. Well, like. well, well, first of all, to come up with a name like April, like April Fools, my name is, my nickname is Fool. Oh, okay. Okay. And April's right around the corner. Yeah, right. So like, and it, it's not because the April was around the corner. Like mm -hmm. my nickname, like all year round, is Fool. Right. So like, the next the next holiday was coming up was April Fools, and um, he 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 proposed that idea to me about January, and I was like, you know what, I can have something. I can have a project done for you by the time April comes. So you kind of did this pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Like, you did it, like, you just got in the studio every day. Yeah. Every day grinding. Like. Every day grinding. Every day grinding. All right, well, how does this April Fool's album compare to No Secret? How does it compare? Yeah, to I mean, like, you? what's different about the two? Like, what did, did you go in the same direction? Did you want to, you know, you feature more artists? Like, what was different about it? Um, well, it, def it definitely went into a, a different route because although I had Black Cobain, you know, right. shout out to my board administration family, although I had Black Cobain on it, um, I wanted to, um, I wanted to show the world who I believed in. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it was different from... Yeah, yeah, it was, di it was different from No Secrets because it was already, No Secrets was already a family thing. Mm-hmm. So when I, with that being said, with all the family put together, I was like, um, let me establish I'm, myself. Yeah, yeah, let me let me establish not only myself, but let me establish my entourage. Okay, and speaking of which, who did you feature with on on the April, April Fools? Who I feature with? I feature with um Chris Bo, mm -hmm. Young Mo. Young Mo, right there. Yeah, the Young Mo. One. Young Mo. Young Mo. Um, as far as producers I feature with um anybody hot here? Yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> name them, name them. You gotta you gotta be naming okay. them. Bam, bam, okay. bam. So as far as producers I feature with I might with, want one. Okay. Okay. So as far as with producers I, I um partnered up with I partnered up with A E Major. E Major, another um producer from the D M V who was gonna shake the world, um C M E Comprehend Music Entertainment. I, I partnered up with him. Mm -hmm. I partnered up with Basehead Music Group. I partnered up with Lex Luger. Jones Shorty. Um, I partnered up with Jones Shorty. Um, in case y'all know who Lex Luger is, he the producer of BMF and and and, 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 and MC Hammer and John Doe for Rick Ross. Well, let me ask you this: When you partner up with them, do you kind of take on their style? Like they'll give you a direction to go, and you like. Like, now nah, I kind of want to flip it. Like, no, how do you do that when you're part of it? Let me answer that question honestly. Honestly, Lex Luger and producers like Joan Shorty and CME and Basehead Music, they know my type of work. Okay. So when they called me and told me to come over to the studio, it like it's like shit. we sat down. Yeah, yeah. We sat down and we, and we, um, we worked together, yeah, we collaborated on building the whole thing from the beats to the bass to the keyboard. So you have a lot of input when you, when you, yeah. they don't just say, oh, I have a track and then you put oh, whatever. No, you no, you no, actually no, are one of the no, artists no. that started from the ground up. Yeah, I don't, even like, I don't even like doing music like that. So music. don't just call you, oh, I got a high track. Like, you actually want to be there. Building, yeah, yeah. Building. Okay. So you did a lot more of this on 
Yeah, I did. I did a lot more on um, April Fool's Revenue No Secrets. I did a lot more. I had a lot more input okay. than, um, for April Fool's Revenue. Well, that's definitely good. So besides you getting on the track, making it do what it do, what do you do in your free time? What do you like to do with the club? You know, in my free time. <laughs> in my free if time. you have any free time. Right, if I have any have free time, time, if I have any free time, I like to um, I like to have raw sex <laughs> in my you free time. That? Is that fresh? Yeah, that's fresh. It ain't right. even finished peeling. It's so fresh. Mm -hmm. But um, on a more serious note, in my free time, I like to um spend time with my children. That's good. That's a, always um, good. Yeah, I have a three-year-old and I have an eleven. I have eleven month old. My eleven month old his name is Harlem. Oh, that's nice. And, um, my my three year old name is Cherry. Sure. So other than that, I like to spend time with my kids. When you don't go out of town doing shows out here. Right, right. But other than that, like I'm not a real active life type of person. Okay. So my whole life is embedded into rap. Yeah. So, so. with like so you go out of town to do shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you go. Like, I don't. I bet. I barely like. This whole month of 2011 and 2010, I've never had a chance to fly out on vacation. Oh, so, only business. Yeah, only business. Like, vacation don't exist to me, you know? Well, what? So while everybody talk about vacations, I don't have no vacation. I work all day, every day. Well, where, where's one of the workplaces that you've been that you enjoyed the most? One of the workplaces that I've been that I enjoyed the most? Yeah. That you felt like they embraced you the most, they were open um, to I'm gonna have to go with Lex Luger. Lex, Lex Luger and um, LES Studios. For, for those who don't know who LES, LES is, he was a producer slash DJ for Nas for a large amount of years. Where's he located? He's in located in Virginia Beach. Oh, okay. So, um, so you as go far as like, as far as me like working in other workplaces that I feel comfortable in, I would have to say Lex Luger and LES Studios. Okay. Alright, so, so you go out and you are with the other producers and you, the favorite one in Virginia, and then when you get back, it's like, are you excited to like put it out for people to hear or do you like kind of wait? Of course I am. Of course I am. Would it be hard to like contain it though? It is hard to contain it. And, and, and like, any, anybody who would tell you like, I want to put my music out ASAP, right. as soon as possible. But that's like, good. You have passion about right, it. Right, right. But the older heads and the business wise, the business minds who think for me, right. they know that I can't put the music out. You know what I'm saying? Like, so as much as, as much as I want to put the music out and as much as I want to let the people hear it, I can't because it'll be no point. You know what I'm saying? But like, I, I want to I wanna come back and put the music out immediately. Right, right. I need to, I, I, me personally, I want the people to hear this. But sure. the older people and the, you know, the business people to hear me, it's like you can't do it. It's really important to let everybody know that you're not just a DMV artist, although you have really strong relationships with Wale and with the funny people. So can you tell me anything about the relationships that you have with them and like, you know, just other feature artists that you've been with? Um, well, the relationship that I have with the Slutty Boys is that Slutty Boys, I knew them from Sandbox, you know what I'm saying, ground up. <laughs> um, Raheem Devon, I worked with him, Phil I Day, Feel the Future, King Pen Slam, Wale, to Black Cobain, to, to Lex Luger, to, you know what I mean, like, Waka Flocka, you know what I'm saying, right to J.I. Ryder, you know what I'm saying, like, so what's next? Like, what's the future? Like, what's, you know, you? The future? That's true. The future, um, I'm going to say that. <laughs> Let's take a drink first. <laughs> take a drink first. The future, I have the Slutty Boys. I have Young Mo, who's him right here. I have Chris Bo, one five millionaires, I see you. I have the Slutty Boys, East Street Bangers, I see you. And what else about the future? Like, if anybody want to contact you, if they want to follow you on Twitter, what's your Twitter name? Don't tell me uh, you're not on Twitter. Yeah, of course I'm on Who's Twitter. Who's not on Twitter, right? Who's Winning? not on Twitter? If you're not on Twitter, you're losing. <laughs> um, my Twitter is at Fatrell, F-A-T-T-R-E-L. My, um, my manager's Twitter 
is at Basehead P. That's Al? It. Nope. It's 8SP. You know my name changed? You don't no. know your name name changed. See? You need to let me know before we do the interview then. Okay. <laughs> Everybody else know. When you hey. change it, like last night? Actually, this morning, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> A-Y-E. A Y E D A T S P A S P. Yeah, that's me. Come on, yeah, that's not that's not good for business. Man. What? That's well, not. I, I should put it in basic. No, you should put it at C M E P. Okay, so you got it. We gonna follow F S R O. You put it at C M E P. And we also have to follow D C Tell All Media. And I just wanna thank you. And I'm V at D C Tell All Media. Thank you. Yeah, V. V. You too. Thanks for taking the time out. So now I'm ready. Thank you, V. Before I get my, before I do all my drops, like I would like to thank, spend a special shout out to JukeboxDC.com, DC Tell All Media, Young Mo, Chris Bo, Elite One Five Millionaires, Slutty Boys, Elite DC, and Wakong I see, Dominic Moxie and Mox Spain I see, Young Millionaires I see, Black Cobain I see, Board Administration I see. Team 368 for the win. I see you. And that's about it. I'm at VDT Tell All Media. Have a good one.